top of that interview. That's why we're, we've rewound it all the way to the beginning, and we're going to replay it. Let's listen carefully. Jimenez. Okay, so you were in the Navy. You were telling me you were with Enrique. Tell me what you saw, what you heard. Okay, so I came to get my phone fixed. Okay, oh, oh you mean Enrique, the, 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 the one who fixed my phone, or no? No, no. Okay. Okay. Tell me what you saw and what you heard. Okay, so I came to the mall, you know, just to get this phone fixed, and the guy who fixed my phone also saw this guy because I was just I was just with him. Um, so I saw five guys together. Okay, I noticed them for whatever reason. You know, you're walking through the mall, you notice some people. I didn't think anything of it at all. You know, they were wearing coats. One guy, I remember, at least one guy was wearing a double hoodie, and I noticed because I was like, oh, that guy's got two hoodies on, like me. Okay, so they just they just looked determined, whatever. I don't I didn't care. Just kept walking, kept doing my thing. I was on my, I was exiting uh, I was exiting the mall. I was at AT and T, uh, and well, yeah, I was exiting the mall, and we stopped in AT and T real quick. Um, I mean, is there anything specific you want me to know? Because it's a pretty long, yeah. Tell me, tell it all. Okay, okay. So uh, at this point, um, okay, so. The moment we, we ran into AT&T, right, because my, my friend was like, okay, let's go into AT&T, and I was like, dude, I really got to go. And, and to prove a point, I was like, all right, I'm going to wait out here, right? You know, just go do your thing, go see if you have an upgrade, whatever, and I'll wait right here. So this guy comes around the corner, so sleek, just footsteps, helmet, looked, looked in my direction. I saw, him, I saw him. I was like, that's the guy that was with the other guys with, holding the helmet, except this dude's got an assault rifle. <laughs> in his hand, and I, I mean, think you clearly recognized oh, it as an assault rifle. I was rifle. in the U.S. Navy. You know, I know what an assault rifle looks like. You know, I don't know if it was fully automatic or semi-automatic, but this dude shot it. Okay, and he was trying to take out cameras. Okay, and I saw that. I saw him literally shoot it, shoot it, and try to take out cameras. So now the main thing here is he wasn't shooting anybody. Not around me. He, maybe he murdered tons of people in there. I don't know. But you know, I didn't see him do any of that. He looked determined. He looked like his motives were very serious. But but he again, like he knew exactly what he wanted yeah, to do. It wasn't some you know. It wasn't spree. random. It wasn't a killing spree. He would have killed me, literally. I was. He would have sprayed me. It was done, you know. And then after that, everyone, the women got scared, and not everyone had a place to run in the back of the store like us. Conveniently, we went to the back of the store. Some people were hiding behind like like clothes and and shit. I mean, not for not not for nothing, you know, for lack of a better Please term. Please watch your language. Yeah. Um, no, no. Honestly, like, uh, you know, I just thank God that I'm out here right now, yeah. and I'm not in there, and I didn't get any shots fired at me. Um, you know, but let me back up. You saw more than one gunman. Uh, I saw more than one person that was with him, and yeah, there was there was multiple guns. There was multiple pieces. Again, I say pieces of metal because at the time there was no way. You know, I've seen a gun, and there's no way that I was going to accept that the fact that there was people just holding guns right in front of me at the end of the hallway. You know, and and just huddled together. And it, and it was the guys. I'm telling you, there was a there was a motorcycle helmet in this guy, free hand in this one. No no gun. I mean no gun. That was the same exact guy that had a gun later and I was shooting. Okay, so you saw what this man looked like before he put on the helmet. Describe him to me. Exactly. Okay, so they were all the same. They were all they were all looking like me. You know, I mean like a lighter brown skin color. Literally could have passed for like some, you know, Italian background, Italian genetics or Hispanic genetics. I can't really expand more than that. All of them. Tall, short, facial hair, glasses, and My height, give or take. About five eight, five yeah. nine. Literally like just looking like just looking like very very similar to me in a way. Yeah. Combat boots? What kind of shoes? Um Boots, boots, like maybe construction boots. Again, I, I really don't want to go too into detail because I didn't care about them. And like, if I would have known at that moment yeah. that those were the guys, you know, that, that were going to cause all this, I would have, I would tell you everything. I would have, like, you know, taken a mental picture. Well, trust me, you're giving us a pretty good account. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Um, okay. So, is there anything else? Uh, did you like me? Oh, this, this is this one. This one kind of trips me out a little okay. bit. Um, so, uh, all right. So, we're in the at and store, and we come out. Now, this is by, by we, I mean three people. There's like 30 back there. Um, employees and clients and random people that were in the hallway. So we go out, me and, me and these three guys, we're just like checking out because people are kind of making jokes. I'm like, I got to get home. And I was like, really? Like, I got to get home. You know, we're, let's see what's going on. So we kind of walk out, creep out a little bit. And then we just don't really see anything. It looks pretty calm. We get all the way to the window of the AT&T store. And we see like some, like some two dudes over there. Some, some guys. They could have been, been like with the five guys. They could have been them. No guns. I didn't see any guns on them because I was looking for guns at this point. But you they know? looked like they were with the gunmen. They looked like they could have possibly been the guys that were with the gunmen, right? So, all right, so at this point, um, the, okay, so, oh, God, wait, wait, where was I in the story? I'm sorry. You saw the guys standing over okay, yeah. against the so wall. They, they cut the corner real quick, and then, like, literally seconds after, like, a guy dressed like this right here, like, dressed like the security people right here, literally, it may have been him, and literally goes, two gunmen, get in the store. So we literally got in the store, and we waited for, like, another 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. I mean... I don't so know that's why. the interview with, uh, with, uh, with Johnny Jimenez. Uh, we're, we're breaking into it because we already played the, the tail end of